Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another video. Yes, I got sunburn over the weekend, so don't make fun of my red face. I went out on a boat and I look like this, like a lobster. What can I say? Fun is fun, right? So in today's video, I get this question a lot. What is the difference between hack the box and try hack me? And which one should you start with? So stay to the end, learn what my opinion is, and please subscribe, please like, please share. We're almost at 50,000. Once we get there, we're gonna be doing a good big giveaway. So let's get into the video and have some fun. All right, folks. So like I get this question a lot, right? Hack the box or try hack me. And there's other platforms like Vuln Hub, Port Swagger, a whole bunch of other things, but I'm just gonna focus on these two today. So again, ignore my uh, burnt face. I didn't realize how red I was until I took a shower yesterday after the boat and I was like, damn, and my back is even worse. Yes, I fried like a lobster. But anyhow, so in my recommendation, I would always start out with try hack me. If you're an intermediate expert level, obviously go into hack the box. We'll get into that in a minute. But if you need more hand holding, more babysitting, this is awesome, right? So say for example, we wanna to go to learn. We don't know what to learn, right? There's so many different categories that we can practice. We can learn red teaming, intro to cybersecurity. Say you're brand new to the field. This is, you can learn the, the core, uh, you know, I don't even know what this is. The, uh, the core skills required to even start your career in cybersecurity, right? Learn the difference between, you know, different topics and applications or whatever. And then we can go down, we can learn about junior pen testing, pre-security. You know, I checked some of these out just to see what's, what's up. Uh, cyber defense, attacking and defending against AWS. This looks pretty cool. I might do this at, certain, uh, at some point, but it's just time, right? And... Hack, uh, SOC level one. I think I did some videos on this complete beginner and so on and so forth. You can guys can get the gist, right? And if you keep going down, we have modules. Say for example, you don't know what Metasploit is. This is a C2 framework, right? That's built into Kali Linux. Uh, you want to just want to click in here for an example, and you want to go ahead and get the introduction of Metasploit. Uh, guys. All right, and then you start the machine and then you can uh, go go down and learn some metasploit stuff and auxiliaries and posts and exploits and all the fun stuff that metasploit has to offer let's go back let's go back one more and you get the gist and once you have the fundamentals and you want to learn how to do maybe a capture the flag then we can go ahead and go to practice go all the way up we can say for an example Mr. Robot, right? Mr. Robot CTF. So there is a walkthrough here from Docstar. And I never did this box on Try Hack Me. I, and the one that I did on Mr. Robot was pulled from uh, Volnhub. I did that even before I had a membership with Hack the Box and Try Hack Me. So yeah. So yeah, so you can just pretty much walk through here. This is gonna get you connected to the VPN and then hack this machine. So there's three keys. There's not much, you know, you can hit the hints. Say this room is, you know, you, you, I guess you have to join the room. Let's just join the room for an example. And then, all right, who cares? All right, let's go back down here and let's go ahead and just go back here and let's look at the hint now. Robots. So maybe it's like the robots.txt. I don't know, I'm just guessing, right? I don't have the box up. And then we can go to here. There's something fishy about the word list. Why is it so long? So you got the gist. It gives you that walkthrough. It gives you that hand holding, just in case you have no idea what you're doing. So now we can go to search. I'm just gonna like do a little navigation around here. So say for example, we can search, you know, free only because say for example, you have no subscription, right? You're you're a new person, you don't have the money to pay for it, or if you do, you get the subscription and you get more, more access. Say for example, you wanna go through walkthroughs, I don't know. 
let's just do most popular, right? And then we can see some of the stuff that we have here. And the Abbott of Cyber 2021, 2022. I did both of those and I can't wait to next month to do 2023. And you guys can get the gist, there's 23 pages. I'm not gonna bore you clicking through pages, but now let's go through like, for example, CTFs, right? Capture the flags, we have basic, and let me go through the basic penetration testing, right? So this is with John, and you know I did do it. So like for an example, you start the machine, you know you can get some hints like funny the service that's exploited by this machine. Use Nmap, you know C blah blah blah, and you just go to next. So say for example, what is the name of the hidden directory on the web server? You know let's hit the hint. Use Dir Search or Dir Buster. You can go use Go Go Buster. Pretty much, go ahead and brute force the directories that reside on that web server or against that web server, and you'll find, for example, deployment, so on and so forth. So you get the gist, right? It's just like very, very hand holding. So you know, I like this. I like this if you're learning a new topic. So let's transfer now to hack the box, right? I have it up here, I'm logged in. There's some really cool things, let me zoom this in a little bit, right? So say for example, you have a starting point, you're total new, I'm just gonna you know, pretend that you're totally new at this, and these very easy machines, right? So you can go down here, it's similar to like the, the, the hand holding. I actually never did these, so I can't speak on them. So I'm sure you just recommended you connect to your, your spawn box or you connect to the VPN. And once you're connected to the VPN, you can spawn the box up, you can spin it up. And then what does the acronym for VM stand for? You know, virtual machine, I assume. And then you just go down the merry way, right? You just keep going down and, until you're done. All right, so that's the starting point. Let's go back to home. And look, it has a new certification. So these are pretty cool things that you can uh, that you can learn, right? There's challenges, there's machines. For example, you can go to the machines. This is your typical, right? Like you just go to your machines. You can see the active machines right now, right? So these are all the active machines and you can sort by like level. Where is that sort by? Oh, right here. Sort by, for example, uh, difficulty. Easy, for an example, you want to look at all the easies first and or all the easies, you know, alone. And you can see all the easies, you can see the mediums and so on and so forth, hard. And then you can sort it by uh, user difficulty. There we go, that's what I wanted to do. So then you can see, okay, once this loads, you can see, okay, you know, hard. And let's see if we can, uh, we can't rotate this. So easy the ones the easiest ones are on the on the top okay so you guys get the gist and then you can go to retired machines right so these are everything that are, that are retired there's like 23 pages maybe maybe even more okay and what's also cool about hack the box you have tracks right what is a track i'm gonna make this a little larger it's a selection of machines collected tied it together into you know for you for you to practice on a specific topic, like mastering a particular subject. For an example, let's go down here and let's just see beginner track, right? This for an example. So you have lame, this is a really easy machine. Find the, the easy pass, weak RSA, Jerry, blah, blah, blah. I did all the machines, so I guess I get the credit for that, okay? So you can go back and say, for example, I, I wanted to do there was a blue, uh, not blue T, this one to Dante. So I'm gonna be doing Dante with a few, with a few people. And um, you know, you can go into here and I guess do these, this is the intro. So let me, uh, let's go to Academy. I believe it's in, is it an Academy? I don't know if my password will work for this. Let me see, no. Uh, Let's go ahead and go to advanced labs. I think it's on the, the advanced labs, pro labs. Here we go. So pro labs, this Dante, right? So we have 
27 flags. I don't know what this is. Let's see. And I'm actually going to do this with a few with a few buddies. So we have 14 machines. It's 14 machines and then 27 flags. And it's intermediate level, level two pen tester. And this is going to test to see how, how my pen testing skills are. You know, as you guys know, like I enjoy doing this, but I don't do it every day, right? It's not my day-to-day -day thing. And I'm going to be completely honest. I don't do it. I do it sometimes, you know, like some, sometimes I have to get into it, but you know, sometimes there's a lot of defensive stuff, blue teaming stuff, red teaming stuff, but it's not like every day that I'm just pen testing all day, every day. So this is, this would be pretty cool. And who is this for, right? A junior pen tester, you know, blah, 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 blah. And yeah, you get, you get the gist, right? So that, that'll be pretty cool. And then what else? What else can we go over? Challenges. You have different challenges. And, uh, you know, for example, hardware. You have hardware challenges, debug, interfaces, blah, blah, blah. And let me bring this back up. Okay, and then you guys get the you guys get the the gist of this, right? Where we're trying to get at. So yeah, this is pretty much hack the box. So this is more like intermediate, like going going into after you're done with try hack me, you can jump into hack the box, and then you can also do like pro. I think it's pro pen test labs. I think I think that's it. Oh, pen tester lab, right? So then you have this one as well. And then you have Voln Hub, right? As well. These are just vulnerable machines that you can download and set up in your own environment. So yeah, this is, but obviously today was focus was on my opinion and my recommendation for try hack me versus hack the box. I have a relationship with both of them. I love both of them. And I don't have, me personally, I don't have one favorited over the other. It's just a recommendation that I would recommend try Hack Me starting out as a beginner and getting into Hack the Box later because, for an example, if, if you're going to go for a machine, for an example, and you want to spin up, uh, once this shows, once the machines show up, I'll, I'll give you an example. Let's just go, because we're talking about easy. What about Keepa, right? So Keepa is a you know easy machine. So let's see if it uh, gives you any, I guess you can't activity. Can we see anything? Uh, just pretty much the machine. I didn't know like if it was a web app. I know it's Linux, easy, and so on and so forth. But you guys get the gist. Pretty much this is gives you an IP address. You have to connect to your VPNs and then start doing your recon information gathering on that IP address. You guys probably seen a whole bunch of videos of mine doing walkthroughs and stuff like that on Hack the Box. But yeah, those would be my recommendations to start out with. And uh, if you have any questions, please leave it in the description below or in the comments below. And I will get it, you know, I'll get to you guys as quickly as possible. And be, you know, be on the lookout for some new content that I'm creating on VMware. If you're ever interested or anyone's interested in VMware training, I'm going to be putting videos out on that. I know this is about InfoSec, but that's, you know, more about virtualization and server stuff and, and some other cool stuff that I'm, you know, working on in the pipeline. So thank you so much for viewing and until next time, have an awesome day.